from co-founding DeepMind to now steering Microsoft's AI ambitions. This is the story of Mustafa Suleiman, the author of the famous book, The Coming Wave. Mustafa Suleiman is a prominent figure in AI, currently serving as the CEO of Microsoft AI. As you may know, Microsoft AI handles some major technologies like Bing, Azure AI, and Cortana. But how did he get started? Mustafa's journey didn't begin with the silver spoons typical of tycoons like Bill Gates, who enjoyed significant privilege. Born into an ordinary household, his father worked as a taxi driver and his mother as a nurse. Growing up near Caledonian Road in London's borough of Islington, Mustafa's beginnings were humble. And the first is that Mustafa is actually not a computer geek. You didn't study computer code, right? You studied philosophy and theology at Oxford. So can you just give us the kind of potted history about how a man who studied philosophy and theology comes to be the co-founder of two tech companies. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I've always found philosophy a systems thinking tool. It enables me to be rigorous and clear about what I think. As a child, Mustafa never dreamed of entering the world of AI or computers. In fact, he didn't even study computer science. Instead, he went a completely different route and studied philosophy and theology at Oxford. From philosophy to leading Microsoft's AI efforts, his journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. However, his journey in AI began with DeepMind, where he led groundbreaking developments. His big break in the AI world came in 2010, when he co-founded DeepMind. This company was groundbreaking in AI research, and Google saw its potential and bought it later on. That was a huge milestone in his career. Since June 2019, he's also been on the board of The Economist Group, the publisher of The Economist newspaper. But in December 2019, Mustafa decided to leave DeepMind and join Google, taking on a role focused on AI policy. He didn't stay put for too long though. By January 2022, he moved on from Google and became a venture partner at Greylock Partners. Then, in 2022, he co-founded another company called Inflection with Reid Hoffman. They even attracted former employees from Google and Meta and raised $225 million in initial funding. Not too shabby, right? Recently, Inflection moved under Microsoft's umbrella, and now Mustafa is leading their AI efforts there. Pi, chatbot. Mustafa's company, Inflection AI, introduced this incredible chatbot called Pi for personal intelligence. It's not your average chatbot. Pi actually remembers past chats and gets to know you over time. Mustafa's vision for Pi is pretty ambitious. He says the ultimate goal is for Pi to act like a digital chief of staff. Initially, it's designed to keep conversations going, ask questions, and even provide emotional support. Mustafa put it perfectly when he said, Pi is a new kind of AI, one that's not just smart, but also emotionally intelligent. We see Pi as a digital companion that's there whenever you want to learn something new, need someone to talk through a tough moment, or just want to chat with a curious and kind friend. It's amazing how he's pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. But Mustafa also has some serious thoughts about the future of AI. Mustafa's thoughts about the future of AI. According to Mustafa, he's worried that AI could become so advanced at mimicking people that it might end up replacing human workers, leading to major financial issues if it's not properly regulated. Well, it's no longer just his prediction because AI is already replacing human workers. If you want to know more about it, check out the video on your screen. In one of his interviews, he mentioned how AI models could empower bad actors to destabilize our world. You know, there are certain aspects of these models which provide really good coaching on how to manufacture biological and chemical weapons. It's one of the capabilities that all of us developing large language models over the last year have observed. Well, everyone has their own political, religious, and cultural beliefs, and these AI models make it easier to push those agendas. At the extreme end, some AI models can even provide guidance on creating biological and chemical weapons. Developers of large language models have noticed this problem over the past year. These models are trained on vast amounts of internet data, which includes harmful information. Big companies usually control and remove such dangerous content to comply with laws and prevent harm. But the issue is that these AI models are widely accessible, making it easier for malicious users to exploit them. It's a scary thought, but Mustafa believes it's something we need to address sooner rather than later. However, the problem is that everyone wants to get their hands on these advanced models, and many of them are available for free as open source downloads. Think about it. You can grab a smaller version of something like ChatGPT without paying a dime. If this keeps up, 
In 10 years, even more powerful models will be out there, and they'll be super easy to transfer around. His book, The Coming Wave. You can check out the official link for more details, but let me give you the gist. In this book, he warns about the huge risks to global order from rapidly advancing technologies like AI and genetic engineering. We're at a turning point in history where everything is about to change. Soon, we'll be surrounded by AIs doing complex jobs, running businesses, creating endless digital content, managing government services, and maintaining infrastructure. Imagine a world with DNA printers, quantum computers, engineered diseases, autonomous weapons, robot assistants, and abundant energy. This will be a major leap in human capability, but we're not ready for it. Mustafa has been at the forefront of the tech revolution, and he believes it's going to be the biggest driver of progress in history. While they hold the potential to solve global problems and create immense wealth, they also also bring the risk of massive upheaval. In his book, The Coming Wave, he explains how these technologies threaten the nation-state system, which is the foundation of global order. Our governments are unprepared, and we're facing a serious dilemma, the risk of chaos from too much openness and the threat of oppressive surveillance. Can we find a middle path? between disaster and dystopia? The book highlights the containment problem, how to keep control over these powerful technologies as the biggest challenge of our time. It's a crucial read for anyone looking to understand the future we're hurtling towards and the immense challenges we'll face. So what are your thoughts on this? And how do you see AI evolving in the next decade? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out these videos on your screen for more such videos.